This video will talk about the principles of programming, logic and verification. So why are these topics important? I'm sure that you've encountered one of these types of error before. But the importance of the topic goes beyond everyday applications. Imagine what would happen if an airplane were to encounter an error mid-flight and shut down, or the same for a nuclear power plant. This would lead to large-scale catastrophes. The research area for these topics is mainly about creating mathematical proofs for programs to test if they run correctly. When a program is created and becomes packed with lots of different features, bugs, errors, can penetrate the code unseen. In order to verify the correctness of a program, a method was created called composition. Composition consists of dividing an entire program into small sub-programs, which can be proofed using logic to check if they run 100% correctly. The proofs of these sub-programs are combined using mathematical logic to obtain a proof for the whole program. Let's look at an example. Let's say we want to verify if a self-driving car system will crash. The cars can move, enter and exit a highway and change lanes. To make the problem harder, let's assume that the cars have just local sensors, i.e. they know just the velocity and position of their closest neighbours. The question is, what happens when a car wants to make a change? This could cause a crash. So let's start with the basic case with just two cars. We have to assure that the cars don't crash. So the blue car has to make the decision, can I accelerate now, based on the position and velocity of the red car. This would be a sub-program. Now let's add more complexity. Let's suppose there is a car on another lane that wants to go into the middle lane. One possible solution would be to ask the blue car to slow down or the red car to speed up. This can be a locally safe decision, but when we look globally, we can see that there might be another car that wants to change to the middle lane further ahead. And now the red car would receive conflicting requests. It's being asked to speed up and slow down at the same time. This is an issue that we wouldn't have come across when we checked the program locally, but it does come up in a bigger perspective. In a composition proof, we start with the basic case of two cars on a single lane without any lane change. Then we use this two car system as a base case, we then expand to an entire lane of cars. We piece together the two car system with lots of other base systems to verify an entire lane of cars. Now we have a global verification that is much stronger than a local verification for just the two car system. From there, we expand the global case to create a case where we still have a single lane, but the cars can enter and exit the lane. Then we build up from that with lots of other lanes. Now we have a system where lots of cars with lots of lanes can enter and exit the system and change lanes at will where everything is safe and working. The idea of composition allowed current researchers from UCL to create tools that automatically solve errors. They took over 15 years of development and these tools are now used by companies like Facebook, Instagram and Spotify to make sure your apps work without error. Researchers also made advancements in security, particularly with digital signatures. They are used to validate online transactions between individuals without having to physically sign any documents. This saves you time and money. The topic of PPLV has a bright future, making steady advancements to fully automatically correct errors in program. This will save time for developers and could also improve your safety. So the next time you go on a trip to Ibiza with the squad, you'll know what brought you there safely. Thank you.